Hi guys, in one of my previous video about uh, 775 DC motors, I showed you that those motors um, from China, in my case I bought those motors from Banggood, they do not perform the same way. In that video I compared four of those motors and they all performed uh, in a different way, drawing different amount of current and also other characteristics. So, one of my viewers asked me if I could uh, measure the RPM for the only motor that was uh, working according to the specifications and is this specific one. This motor at 12 volts uh, there was about 230-250 milliamps and just for comparison this one uh, draws 850 milliamps at 12 volts. So yeah, he asked me if I could measure the RPM for this one at 12 volts and 24 volts. So I thought I could record a video and also show you this uh, contactless tachometer from also from Banggood. If I'm not wrong, it costs about $14 and for this price, I think that's a must have. It's quite useful and you can measure the RPM of a DC motor with no, no load. So let me first show you that uh, those motors, they draw different amount of current at 12 volts and after you measure the RPM at 12 volts and 24 volts for this specific one. So let me put here aside. Let me grab this holder. So I can, <coughs> can hold the, the motor in here. So let's start with this one. This one should uh, draw 800 milliamps at 12 volts. So let's turn on the power supply. So it's 24 volts. Let's adjust this for 12 volts. Let's grab some leads. Okay, here we go. So let's pull up here. And plug the positive and negative in the, mot in the motor. And now let's see at 12 volts. So as you guys can see, this motor here at 12 volts does 800 milliamps. Now let's have a look at the second one. It should draw about 200 milliamps. And let's see positive. Positive is top. Let's connect the cables again. You guys are gonna see that uh, gonna hear that this the noise of this motor is uh, quite different from if compared with this one. So and it goes 200 milliamps at 12 volts. So now let's uh, measure the RPM of uh, of this motor, and I'm gonna use this uh, contactless tachometer. So we need to place uh, to put a piece of tape in the shaft. So in this way, you can use this tachometer. So let's put this piece of tape in here. And the stachometer is quite simple. I have a on off button here and light display lights on and off. And here in the memory you can have a maximum, minimum and less measurement and also the average. So to take the measurement we just press and hold this on button. So let's turn on the motor. So now let's uh, press and hold here, point to the tape, the shaft. So as you guys can see, let me go back in here. 3600 RPM at 12 volts. So now let's have a look at 24 volts. So 
7200 RPM. That's really close to the, the specification for this motor on Bangladesh website. But uh, it's quite funny that this uh, from the uh, I have six of those motors, and that's the only one that works uh, according to the specifications. All the others they have a uh, higher uh, RPM and it also does a lot of current, much more than what uh, is uh, supposed to be according to the specification. So here in the tachometer you see the maximum RPM, the minimum, this, the minimum was at 12 volts, so 3600, and the last measurement that was at 24 volts, 7270 RPM. The average in this case is not important for us, because we measure in different uh, voltage, but in some situations this uh, option is also really useful. So guys, that's it. Uh, I just would like to show you the contactless tachometer and I also uh, answer the one of my viewers that asked me to measure the RPM uh, for this specific motor at 12 volts and 24 volts. So that's it. I catch you next time.